Hallelujah. Wow, lift your hands. Let's just thank God. He is lifted above other gods. I really love that song. Let us thank Him. Let us thank Him. Thank you, Jesus. Let us thank Him. Let us thank Him. Let us thank Him. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Lift his name. Lift his name. We worship you, Lord Jesus. We worship you, Lord. We worship you, Lord. We worship you, Lord. Lord. Come on, lift your hands and worship the Lord. Let us worship him. Opened by be fire. Opened by fire. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let the heaven. Let the heavens over, over my, my head. head. Be open now. My father, my father. Be open. Let the heavens over my head. Be open. Over my life. Be open. Be open. Be open now. Be open. Be open. My father, my father. Be open. Let the heavens over my head. Be open now. Be open now. Be open. Over my children, be open now. 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 Over my finances. Be open now. Open. Over my head. Open. Over my life. Open now. Open. By fire. Be open now. Open. Be open now. Be open now. Open. Be open now. 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 In the name of Jesus. 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 Open. Open. Open up. Hey, Jesus. Mighty name. 
say my gates my gate shall be continually open shall be continually open day and night, day and night. In, the in the name of jesus the bible says thy gates shall be continually open day and night yes. command your gates to be continually open open for favor open for increase open for Open up your mother's prayer. Open. My gates shall be continually open. Day and night. Day and night. Open. Open. Open for favor. Open for increase. Open for honor. Open for strength. Open for riches. Open for power. Open for wisdom. Open now. Open now. Open now. Open now. Open now. In Jesus' mighty name. I uproot. I uproot. Every evil root. Every evil root. Hindering my progress. Hindering my breakthrough. Hindering my increase. I uproot. Every evil root. Hindering my progress. My testimonies. My breakthrough. I uproot now. I uproot now. I am brought 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 now. Abada Bada. Abada Bada Bada. Continue. A brood. A brood. A brood now. A brood. Whatever is in my foundation. Whatever is in my foundation. Fighting my progress, fighting my increase. I uproot, I uproot, I uproot, I uproot now, I uproot now, I uproot now. My fire, I uproot now, I uproot now, I uproot now. Rakatava, Rekatava, Lokateva, Regeteva, Rakatagas, Jelegedama, Rokadabaga, Legedegede. Rekopokata, Ozolo Basha, Rekete Gade, Malika Daba, Rokoto Gade, Marakata, the name of Jesus. I am root. In Jesus. Mighty name. You lift up your right hand very high to the sky as if you are addressing somebody. Say, You dark personality. You dark my breakthroughs. You dark personality. Fighting my progress. You dark personality. Fighting my testimonies. Your time is up. Fall down and die. Can you address that power? Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh yes! Fight the power! Oh yes, Lord! Oh yes, Lord! Oh yes, Lord! Kantala Bayando! Rakapatarabata! I pull you down! I pull you down! I pull you down! I pull you down. I pull you down. I pull you down. Die. 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 Lose your hope. Lose me now. Lose your hope. Lose me now. Lose your hope. I bind you. I cast you out. I bind you. I cast you out.
cast you down. I cast you down. I cast you down. I cast you down. Die. Die. Kaya balado. Kaya la balo. Kaya la balo. Rea. Oh, Tobo. Oh, Tobo, Toba. My God. You personality. Common progress. Let your thanksgiving also become warfare. Let your thanksgiving also turn to warfare. Yes. And common progress. Thank God. And common progress. Yes. From your heart. Thank God. In Jesus matine. If both hands can be lifted, lift them. If also can lift your head and look up, go ahead. As your hands are lifted and your head is lifted, begin to thank God for uncommon rests. Uncommon rests. Uncommon rests. Rests in my life. Uncommon rests in my finances. Uncommon rests in my health. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you. Yeah, 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 yeah. I thank you, thank you, and come on rest in my health, in my ministry, in my career. Jehovah, I receive that rest. I receive that rest. I receive that rest. I receive that rest. That rest that there is no evil occurrence or adversary. I receive it now. Come on, receive it now. Receive that rest. Receive it now. Receive that rest. Receive it now. Lord, I thank you. I thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you for that rest. Don't get tired, do. Don't get tired, do. Thank him. Thank him. Do it well. Do it well. Thanksgiving is a weapon. Thank God for uncommon rest. Thank God for uncommon rest. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Jesus Martine. I decree that your rest is permanent. I said your rest is permanent. I said your rest is permanent. I said your rest is permanent. If that amen is loud and clear, receive it in the name of Jesus. If that amen is even louder than that, may your rest start now. Thank you, Father. Let me turn to three people, tell them uncommon rest, uncommon rest, uncommon rest is your portion. Using my sound with Pastor Fred sound. I'm not busy. Oh yeah, please do your thing. Um, 
I'm not busy. Please just return it to where I will feel God. Amen. Amen. There is something that has come to my heart when I was praying. I don't know whether we should do it or whether that unction will. You know, there are things that come and the unction is not very strong. Then as you continue, the inspiration gets stronger. While we were praying, I don't know if it was prayer point one or prayer point two, I saw something that I'm trying to see whether it's going to be strong. If it's strong, I'll just obey the, the inspiration. You know, it's important for you to understand that uh, we're all under instructions. Uh, the leader is the Holy Spirit. It's not me. Yes, it has never been me. And when the Holy Spirit is the leader, I think it's good we do it. Can we get an offering and just put it on this altar? Just get an offering. Just get preferably a thousand. Preferably. But if you don't have it, no problem. But just get an offering and come and put it on this altar. Do it very quickly, please. Do it very quickly, please. If a thousand and above, better, better. But let's do it very quickly, please. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Any offering, just, just let, and don't, ashes don't pick it, just let it remain there. Quickly, 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 quickly. Anything, just put it there. Let it stay there. Let it stay there. Let it stay there. Do it very well, very quickly, please. If it's your phone, let it touch the altar. And ashes, don't touch it. Let it remain there until the service ends. Quickly, 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 quickly. If it's your phone, let it touch the altar. Thank you, Jesus. This thing is too busy, Alan. Eh? I think, please try to return it where it should be. Quickly, quickly, please. Then stand up on your feet and speak in tongues for a minute. Shate palakotola bayanda bakatakatika. Those who are watching, follow the instructions very quickly, please, and just speak in tongues. Ramatama, Larura Sitashia Mekatarias, Raliro Barantali Rarosa Lababosha, Lakatande de Ligra Tagataka, Sheto, Sheleketende, Ilaka Paraso Plaga. Just speak in tongues. Arabala Barabara Barabatu, Shenda Liba Barabara Barabas. Just pray in tongues. Because I even don't know what we are praying about. But I know as we pray in the spirit, it shall be actualized that which is to be done at this moment. Just pray in tongues. Just pray in tongues. Amen. Jesus mighty name. Come on, say it is done. It is done. Say it loud and clear. It is done. It is done. You know, sometimes there are things when you pray in tongues, you understand not what thou saith, but that which thou saith by the Spirit uh, will actualize in the physical. And the best way to pray is praying what? It's Bishop Abue who says that uh, if you don't know what to pray, pray in a language you do not know. Very powerful. Now, this is day two of our uh, Open Heavens Conference. And we're looking at uprooting the tree of non-achievement uprooting the tree of non-achievement. It is under open heavens. Now, I think it's good to I explain something about when you say open heavens because not everyone understands when you say open heavens and the importance of it and why everyone who prays that prayer will always have breakthrough. 
Do you know if you just take one week and just one hour every day, you're just praying, Lord, let my heavens remain open. There is no way you're going to lack a testimony. Uh, there is no way. I think it's good to explain exactly what does it mean to have open heavens. Even before we continue with uprooting the tree, which we started yesterday. But what actually does it mean for the heavens to be open? It will help you. It will really help you to know the importance of this conference. Are we getting blessed? How many were blessed yesterday, by the way? Oh, it was lovely. Now, let's look at uh, Ezekiel. Chapter, chapter 1 and chapter 2. Oh, let's start with Luke first. Luke chapter 2. Luke chapter 3, sorry. Luke chapter 3. Any man, any woman who will fulfill destiny in a grand way, anyone who will experience the fullness of God's blessings must have an open heavens as a requirement. There is no way destiny will open up in the physical if your heavens are closed. And the extent your heavens are opened determines the operations of God in your life on earth. So the more, the wider your heavens are opened, the larger the scope of divine operations in your life. That's why we find that people whose heavens keep enlarging. They keep having multiple helpers, multiple testimonies, multiple doors. I mean, they get to a place where they're spoiled for choice. And I'm seeing somebody this week your heavens enlarging. Amen. Oh my God. Amen. Maybe you don't understand my prayer. I say my prayer for you this week is that your heavens shall get larger and larger and larger. Amen. That means your testimony shall increase. Amen. If I'm talking to you, let your amen be loud and clear. Amen. amen. Now, in Luke chapter 3, Luke chapter 3, Jesus never started ministry until the heavens were opened. Until the heavens were opened. It, it, it needed an open heavens for the messianic ministry to have impact on us. That should tell you how important it is. Luke chapter 3, verse 21. Now, when all the people were baptized... It came to pass. Now you can imagine, they were baptized with closed heavens. They just entered water and came out. That Jesus also, are we there? Being baptized and praying, what happened? It says, the heaven, the heaven, the heaven, the heaven. And what happened? Next verse, verse 22. And the Holy Ghost descended. And the Holy Ghost descended. In a bodily shape. In a bodily shape. Like a dove. Like a dove. On him. On him. Continue, sir. And a voice came from heaven. Now, all the ones who were baptized before Christ, there was no descending. There was no voice. But when the heavens opened, Holy Ghost came. God spoke. And the ministry of Jesus opened up. You see, this explains why anyone who operates under closed heavens will struggle. Effort does not bring success. It is effort under open heavens. Education, experience, 
and all those things, they don't really bring success. These things only become meaningful when the heavens are open. Now, in Deuteronomy, let's, let's just build this. Deuteronomy chapter 28. The Bible confirms that unto every man there is a space over his head. And that space is called the heavens over your head. So when we talk about the heavens, we are not necessarily looking at the ap atmospheric heaven. Every human being has a space, has a spiritual space over his head. That space is called what? The heavens. Look at it. Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy 28 verse 23. Deuteronomy 28 verse 23. Yes. And thy heaven. Thy heaven. That is over thy head. You can see it's personal. Hello. It says thy heaven. That is what? Over thy head. That is over thy head. Shall be brass. Come on, say, God forbid. God forbid. Continue, sir. And the earth that and is, the under, earth that thee is thee under thee shall be iron. So you see that every man, every human being has a heaven over their head. It's a spiritual space. Can I go deeper? Come on, give me your attention. I really want to teach you a few things here. So when God wants to do something in your life, he doesn't do it in the circumstantial realm. He does it in your heavens. Your heavens determine where you stay. Your heavens determines the people you relate with. Your heavens determines your income, what comes to you. Your heavens determines your longevity, your length of days. Your heavens determine your happenings and events. When that heavens is closed, life on earth shall be unbearable. And when that heaven is open, breakthrough begins to come. I open your heavens. I touch your heavens. I enter your realm now. By the power in the blood of Jesus, whatever has locked your heavens, I open it now. 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 Come on, say, my heavens, my heavens. Open by fire. Heavens. It says, the heavens over thine head. I want to go deeper. Um, 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 there's an example that has come to my spirit. I'm just trying to break it down. You know, we preach with our spirits. We just use our understanding to come to your level. For instance, okay, let me use this one. A case came to me last month. A gentleman married a woman. The first wife died of cancer. Last month, in fact, I even referred that case to Pastor Fred. She ma he married second wife. Second wife died of cancer. First wife died of cancer. After a few years, second wife died of what? Uh, are we together? Died of cancer. Now, the day they were traveling to bury the second wife, he reached out. He reached out. He said, hey, man of God, I think there's something following me. In fact, the man was not born again. I prayed for his salvation. I was with Sifa. I prayed for his salvation. He said, we are now traveling to bury my second wife, who also died of cancer. He told me, According to our traditions, I must stay there for one month. So maybe I think she'll be coming this week or next week. I don't know. He said, but when, when, when I come, I'm coming directly to you for deliverance. I said, no, wahala. Now, that burial day, when they were burying this second wife, hey, 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 the mother, biological mother, was emotionally challenged. Could not take the reality that my son 
again doesn't have a wife. And in that emotional trauma and all that, she fainted while they were burying at the burial site. So they carried her to hospital while burying this woman. After they were done burying, of course, he ran to the hospital to check the condition of the mother. The mother also died. So my question is this. Where was that death? There are things when they program in your heavens. Just like there are people who lose, who can decide to walk out of a job today, and next week they'll be in another company. And they'll be there, and then they say, I don't like it. And walk out, and go to another company, and they'll never be jobless. So is it their purpose employing them? You see, the nature of your heavens determines the activities on earth. So when we say open heavens conference, it's not a conference that you should take lightly. Because I will show you seven things that affect the heavens over your head. I'm anointed this week to ensure by his grace that something must break loose over your head. Oh. I said something must break loose over your head. That amen will not bring that answer. That amen will not do anything. I said something will break loose over your heavens. That's why it says Thy heavens over thy... Can we go? Can we look at other scriptures on this? Okay. In Revelation chapter 1. Mature people in the Lord, they don't really bother about what they're going through. They bother about what they're carrying. Now, <laughs> quantum physics has now come to acknowledge that life is not in the physical realm. They, they, they are agreeing, it's is, is, is out now. They are saying that all that you see is not all that there is. They say everything in the physical realm, this is, these are scientists. It said it is controlled by a quantum field, which is purely energy. Yeah? They are saying it now. What they're calling energy is what we call spiritual realm. They have agreed. And it is very interesting. They are even tapping into powers of the spirit until now they are having live testimonies of tumors disappearing. People waking out of wheelchair. Imagine. Do your research. You know, one of the things about me is that I'm a researcher. You cannot deal with the spirit realm and be ignorant. You have to know where the world is going. They have tapped into the power of the invincible world. They actually say that man is 1% matter and 99% energy. Imagine. That is research that is out. This is the time they agree with Ma uh, chapter 23 verse 7 as he thinketh in his heart. So they say you can even change your genes through thoughts. Imagine. This is we have been preaching this for many years. Of course, we understand that as they tap in that power, they connect to other spirits. That is what we call modern day witchcraft. Because any access into the realm of the spirit without the Holy Ghost is what? But the truth is this. The law is the same. The heavens. I want to focus on that. Now in Revelations. Oh, hallelujah. Chapter 1. 
verse. Start from number one, sir. Revelation chapter one, verse one. Mm. The revelation of Jesus Christ, mm. which God gave unto him to show unto his servant things which must shortly come to pass. Mm. And he say, and he sent. Okay, because of time, jump to chapter four, verse one. Revelation chapter four, verse one. Chapter four, verse one. After this, I looked, and behold, a door opened I in looked the heaven. In the where? In the heaven. Read it again. After this, I looked, and behold, a door was opened in the heaven. A door was opened in the heaven. And the, okay. and the first voice which I heard, which I heard was as it were of a trumpet talking with me, which said, he said what? He says, come, come up, thither. up thither. And I will do what? And I will show thee. Where things. was the door opened? In the heavens. Huh? That means the heavens over your head has departments. There are those whose heavens are open for finances, but they're not open for marriage. Have you found people who are very rich, but sickness is their brother? The heavens over their head, the door has opened for riches, but there's another one that is shut for health. Other families will find very educated people, but none can keep a wife or a husband. The heavens are open for education, but not open for marriage. I'm trying to help us understand, just before I go deeper, that when we talk about open heavens, you know, it's good you understand the theme of the conference. It's a very important thing. We're talking about that which determines your events on earth. People don't fail because they want to fail. Neither do they succeed because they want to succeed. The heavens over thy head determines the events over your life. Maybe very fast because I really want to handle the thing of tree. Very fast. What are the seven things that affect your heavens? Very fast. Very fast. Remember we've said the heavens is what? Is the spiritual space above your head. It's invisible but it is what? It is real. You cannot see it. You cannot touch it. But it is what controls you. Times and seasons are over your heavens. You know, if you change your heavens today, you realize that your friends will change. Your miracles will change. Your experiences will change. Your menu will change. Even your age, you, you, you look younger than your age when you change your heavens. I'm told of a story of one of our fathers in the Lord who they sent somebody to open a church in a certain location. And everyone who tried to open church in that country, that location, never succeeded. As a matter of fact, in that country, there was no charismatic church that had land. I think it's because it was a Muslim or something country. And all churches were confined in small, 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 small rooms. Then this Baba said, okay, God has said we go there. As soon as somebody entered that land, that same week there was a bill in the year parliament that at least churches should be allowed to have land. I don't know that you're getting it. All along, there was no discussion of that. The moment people from Nigeria, from that Baba's church, stepped into that land, the same week, they said, it is good we also give them freedom of worship. Same six months, in that same year, somebody relocated to another country and sold a land. And it happened that it is the people who were sent that were there to buy the land. So, churches that have been there for 10 years, no land. This one was sent for six months, they've learned. And the laws have changed. You see, your heavens determines your events. What you carry on your head determines what happens to you. Never allow someone to tell you there is no space. It depends on the heavens they are carrying. Never allow somebody to tell you that things will not work. It depends on what they are carrying. 
Things may not be working in a certain location, but there are certain people when they enter, their heavens must cause a certain thing to happen so that what they carry becomes physical. I pray that God will change your heavens this week. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Whatever has closed your heavens releases you now. Releases you now. Releases you now. The heavens over your head shall open to marriage. Shall open to finances. Shall open to riches. Shall open to wealth. Shall open to wisdom. Shall open to power. Shall open to strength. The heavens over your head shall remain open. There are seven things that affect your heavens. Number one, your heavens are affected by your prayer life. Anytime your prayer gauge goes down, your heavens begin to shut. Anytime you are prayerful and you are consistent, you know, it's not just prayer, it's praying habitually. You see, that's why you find that you can pray long for one day and nothing happens. For example, Please, give me your attention. I want to teach you something here. Somebody who prays for seven hours, you just enter prayer and you pray for seven hours today, and then will not pray again until next week, will not have results as somebody who has prayed for one hour the next seven days. He doesn't pray for seven hours, but on Monday, one hour. On Tuesday, one hour. On Wednesday, one hour. On Thursday, one hour. On Friday, one hour. On Saturday, one hour. So the one who prayed for seven hours on Monday cannot compare with this one who has prayed every day for one hour. Because the realm of the spirit registers in 24 hours. That's what the Bible says. His masses are new every, after every 24 hours is a new plate. If you want your heavens to change, then pray the seven hours on Monday, the seven hours on Tuesday. That way now, there will be a change. Because your prayer life affects your heavens. Your habitual prayer life. Not just prayer life. Satan is not afraid when you wake up and pray. He is afraid when you do it for one month. Have you not discovered that when you start something, you start with a lot of fire? Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. ah, midnight. Na gonga kabisa. The first two, three midnights. Kita roto. By Wednesday. He says, not even a mass, it is 12. <laughs> you even comfort yourself. He said that if I say 12, in America it's not 12. Eh? So, you know, are you getting me? You know, all that is happening. Satan wants to bring the consistency. As long as it's not done consistently, it can't affect your life. Reading Bible is not the problem. It is reading it consistently for seven days. You see, your prayer life will affect your heavens. I'm just rushing through. Number two, your thoughts, your mind. Your thoughts, your mind has a lot to do with your heavens. Don't forget, the mind is not a thing. You can touch your brain, but you cannot touch your mind. Okay, touch your mind now. You can touch, you can touch your brain. The mind is not a thing. The mind is an activity. That's why you can't touch your thoughts, but as he think it, so is he. Ah. Are you getting it? So don't confuse your brain and your mind. Your brain is physical. That's why you can be an educated fool. Your brain is educated, but your mind is not enlightened. You cannot educate your mind. You can only enlighten your mind. You can only educate your brain, not your mind. Because a, your mind is not a thing. Your mind is an activity where thoughts are processed. And thoughts are spirits. That's why you can't touch your thoughts. So number one is your prayer, consistent prayer life. Number two is your thoughts. They affect your heavens. Number three is your bloodline. 
Your bloodline affects your heavens into two. That's why you find that in the bloodline of Abraham, they married particular women. Those women were brought by the heavens. Even the time God wanted to correct Jacob, Jacob said, no lie, I must marry somebody who looks like my grandmother. Your bloodline affects your heavens. Number, 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 number four, your heavens is affected by your giving. Now, they say these people of quantum physics, they say that it is what you release that comes back to you. They, they have discovered that the other day. To machine that you could be real, but give, give. They have discovered that. Do your research. Please don't look at me as if I'm, I'm being mystical. No. Uh, just do your research. It's there. If you know them, they, they, they call it, they say that uh, the universe returns back to you. They say that it is what you give to the universe that comes back to you. Say if you give nothing, don't expect the universe to return. The universe, they call it universe. One great bishop in Africa, a man we all love, had a serious attack in his ministry. Papers were published, church reduced to... I'm told that they go to a place whereby, I mean, you could tell that this thing is dying. Now, the man of God has Kesha every day with over 10,000 people every day Kesha for the last three and a half years. I'm told when he was asked, how did you jump back? He said, I not only prayed, but I gave. The moment you understand that your giving and your sacrifice is not money, it is something that will affect your heavens, that will in turn affect your life, you will never play with your seed. You will never play with your sacrifice. I, I, I always advise, any time you find yourself, you're either starting something new or you're in a new location or you're faced some challenges that you don't know how to come out, I always advise your sacrifice is the way out. Because the heavens understands the language of sacrifice. It understands. You move to a new nation, you're going to relocate there. Oh yeah, put a sacrifice. You have entered a new company. It's a promotion for you. Thank God. It's a testimony. That's what they call it fast food. It's what they receive fast. Put it down. Heavens. Number five. Your heavens are affected by your association. Who you work with will determine your heavens. This explains the reason why sometimes when you go deep in God, some people will be disconnected. You don't even pray them to go. It, it just happens. For instance, the more Abraham started to follow the voice of the Lord, the more he obeyed God, the more he did it, he realized that he could no longer walk with the Lord. Lot had to be separated from him. Now, to Kiangalia Lot Vizuri, Unajana and Shangaza Sana Lot, in chapter 19 of Genesis, uh, chapter 18, they visit Abraham. Chapter 19, they go to Lot. Do you know where they found Lot? His house, his door was facing Sodom. Eh? The door of Lot's house was facing Sodom. And you know door is mind, door is heart. That means although he was not in Sodom, in his heart he was there. And an interesting thing about Lot and his family, I don't know whether you noticed. The angel told Lot that, Oga, pack your things, we are about to destroy what? The city. The angel told Lot, you, your, your daughters, and your sons-in-law, pack. So the daughters were married. But they did not have children. And the sons, I believe they died because the daughter said we are only two. And our father will go without giving us children. 
Firstborn said, let's make our father drunk. And she lay with the father and woke up. And the father knew not. Then the second born. That's what the Moabites came and the Ammonites came. Because you remember the wife of Lot looked back. Their heart was still in Sodom. The angel told Lot, let's show you some good plains. Lot said, mm -mm, I want to go to the cave. Is there in Genesis chapter 19. The angel chose for Lot a good place. They say, so the heavens of a Lot had an issue. That's so why there is no way you're going to walk with somebody who does not love God and you say you love God. You can't be in God that your best friend is a Muslim. It's a lie. I don't understand how a believer can fall in love with an unbeliever. You say, you know, you know, you know, feelings, you know, you know, he's a good guy. No, he's a good guy. Hussein, my God. He's a, in fact, you can't even compare with some of these brothers in church. Eh? So my question is this, what do you talk? Wewe unakata ndimi kwanza sasa uko evening Wednesday service. Kumanisha you are serious with God. Because you measure spirituality with weekly services, not Sunday. Sunday anyone can go to church, even drunkards go to church. Even my own father used to go to church on Sunday. You know, one day, my own biological father got a lot of money, about 20 something million. Then, you know, he was a Catholic. So he went to church. Then I asked him, well, have you tithed? He said, I pay tithe. I said, Dad, you have given two point something million. He said, no, 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 no. I've given them 500 as tithe. was tied to him. My God, ignorance is very expensive. The people you walk with, the people you walk with, you are also, that's, listen, certain things will not happen to you until certain people leave you or you leave them. They are not saying amen. amen. Uh, they are not saying amen. No. amen. I said there are people who must walk out of your life or you walk out. For certain things to happen. The Bible says the day King Uzziah died. That same day, Uzziah. That means Uzziah was close to, to, uh, King, to uh, the prophet Isaiah. But God did not approve that. Councils and pastors, don't be very familiar with the state house. You may not be, your heavens may be shut. All of a sudden you don't see well. Go there for wisdom. Go there for counsel. Go and say what God is telling you. But it cannot be Monday, State House, Bishop. Tuesday, State House, Bishop. Wednesday, dinner. Thursday, shortly, you will not see. You, out town now, you will not see. A prophet should stay in the closet. You go to big offices with thus says the Lord. After that, you return. You don't form alliances. Because the moment anointing is commonized, spiritual sight is no longer there. You can't see. You can't see. That's why even me, I cannot keep talking to you on phone. Hello, Niaji, how are you? Where are you? For what? All of a sudden, I will not see. Lakini sasa naona vizuri sana. Bwana asifiwe sana. Si jongea na mtu kwa simu hapa naona vizuri nini? Because association matters. Association matters. Number 6. Your heavens is affected by your character. Your character is a prophecy of your future. How you behave today will determine what will come tomorrow. Show me a diligent man and I'll show you a prosperous man tomorrow. Show me a faithful man and I'll show you a man who will abound with blessing. Your character is a prophecy of your future. Show me a man who loves shortcut and I will tell you tomorrow will not be there. Character affects your heavens. Lastly, your heavens is affected by your words. Your confession. What you say 
what you continually say will determine the shape of your heavens. We are talking about open heavens. Glory to God. Is someone getting blessed? Let's go through them again. Number one, what affects your heavens? Habitual, not just prayer life. Habitual prayer life. I've given you an example of someone who prays for seven hours and doesn't pray again until next Monday. That will not have results. But that one who prays one hour a day consistently will have results. Number two, I've said what? Thoughts. Your mind. Proverbs 23 verse 7, as he thinketh in his heart, so is he. Your mind is not a thing. Your mind is an activity. Don't confuse your brain for your mind. Number three, you have said what? Your foundations will determine the heavens you carry. And that's why sometimes when you try to break out of some family patterns, Battle begins to fight. Battles erupt. The moment you try to break a certain pattern, demons rise because the heavens have breached something differently. But I pray to God, every ancestral pattern in your heavens shall be paralyzed by fire. 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 Number four, not just giving, your sacrificial giving will really, really determine your heavens. Ensure that in your mind, giving is not financial but it's spiritual. You will go far. There are things I wish I knew earlier, but it's never late to be right. You have just gotten married. Before you got married, you had two pieces of land and a little car. My advice is, of the three, one is sacrifice. Something has to be on the foundation of that, your marriage. You have moved into a new job. You have started a new building, a new business. That's why we call it fast food. Whatever comes to your hand fast, let it speak for your heavens. You have moved from Nairobi to Kericho. They have transferred you there. You can't just stop. Kericho is a different location with different demons, with different covenants, different agreements in the spirit. For you to break through in that foreign land, you must do something on the ground. You must put something on the ground. Otherwise, what eats people there will start eating you. The day, the first day I went to U.S., my, whatever they gave me the first time, I never touched a coin. As it was in dollars, I released. So when you see me having breakthrough in US, please don't complain. There, there, there are things that are speaking for me where? In the heavens. Your giving, your giving speak a lot for your heavens. Number five, we said what? Mind your company. Mind your company. Paul said, do not be equally yoked with what? Now believers. Mind the people around you. They can either block your heavens or open your heavens. Number six. Your character is a prophecy of your future. That's why anytime you adjust an attitude in your heart, results become different. The moment you start loving people, the moment you start seeing people as God's image, the moment you reduce your pride and you become humble, the moment you reduce your anger, you realize that things begin to adjust themselves, even without changing prayer, because your character affects your heavens. Your character affects your heavens. I don't have discovered that successful people whose success has a future, they are givers, even if they are not born again. And I've discovered that stingy people don't go far. Eh? 
even if their wealth is from their is, is, is inheritance you realize they are rich but they are lonely ah have you not seen such people ako kwa range rover ako na driver but when you look at that person he's very miserable in fact with all the wealth that his father left him he still goes and eats in a very dingy place there's no happiness in his heart. There's no happiness in his soul. Number seven. Your words. In Proverbs, is it chapter 18, verse 20 or 21? It says, life and death is in the power of the tongue. It says, and those who love it shall eat the fruit thereof. Glory to God. Now, let's go to point number one because we are closing. I can't continue further than this because of time. We say that your prayer affects your heavens. Now, there are different kinds of prayers. One of the prayers that will hit your heavens direct is warfare prayer. The moment you start engaging in warfare prayer, you realize things begin to shift. So when you talk about prayer, don't just pray over oh God, I thank you. I just want my soul to rest, my what not. No, I, no, 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 no. We are talking about prayers that pierce darkness. Prayers that form decrees which demons cannot stand against. We are talking about using your authority in Christ to change levels, to change realms, to overturn evil judgments. Those are the prayers that change your heavens. Are you aware if you do warfare for one week, Something that has delayed for the last three years will open up. That's right. I was told of a story of this lady in Lagos who was very much educated. Uncles were in places of influence and power. But she could not even be able to raise money to pay rent. She used to go to the churches of... Uh, my soul to bed, my soul, you know those things, plus God, man, and Satan, in Jesus' name, amen. You know those prayers? Do you know those prayers? Uh, oh, Mother Mary, pray for me. Mary, who is also waiting for Jesus, pray for me. Then she went to one church to like Miracle Life, and she was told for the next seven days, wake up at midnight and pray these prayers for one hour. Huh? Yes. The first day she woke up 12 to 1, she said that a relation of us who has never sent her money, sent her money the following day. Say, eh? Only day one. So she decided that the next day she will go from 12 to 2. The day two, she said, a known witch knocked at her door. He said, don't continue praying those prayers. I will kill you. He said, eh? That day, she said, I'll push to three. By the time she pushed from 12 to 6, everything about her life in one week had changed. Because the prayers touched the heavens. Rise up on your feet. Our time is there are three prayers I want us to pray. Eh? I want us to pray this. Only three. And we are going to make it very short. But let's make them weighty. These three prayers, there are people tonight, you will have dreams. I'm telling you, God will visit you in the dream, or what has been tying your life must appear in the dream. But before you pray, lift up your right hand of fire and soak yourself in holy fire. Soak yourself in fire. In the holy fire, I keep my sight. In the holy fire, I soak, soak yourself in fire. In the holy fire, I soak my sight. In the holy fire, I soak my sight. Soak. In the holy fire, I turn my sight. Soak yourself in fire. I soak my sight. Soak yourself in holy fire. I soak my sight. In the holy fire, I soak my sight. In the holy fire, I soak my sight. In Jesus' mighty name, say any negative.
negative influence any negative influence in my heavens in my heavens caused by my bloodline any negative influence in my heavens caused by my bloodline My God, brought by my bloodline. My God, down, 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 my God. For answered prayers. Thank God for answered prayers. Thank God for answered prayers. Oh yes. Something has changed. Something has changed in heaven. Oh yes. Oh yes. Stretch forth your hands toward this altar. I decree in the name of Jesus. By the power of the Holy Ghost. 
whatever is negative in your heavens is removed now 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 that thing in your heavens that is fighting your progress that is fighting your testimony that is fighting your achievements I am rooted by fire 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 I am rooted thank you father in Jesus mighty name again thank God Thank God, thank God, thank God, thank God, thank God, thank God. He has done me well, he has done me well, you have done me well, Jesus. Go ahead and take the communion and continue thanking God for rest in your heavens. And be specific. Thank God for rest in marriage, rest in health, rest in finances. Please go ahead and open up a mouth and thank God. Thank Him. Thank Him. Thank Him. Thank Him. Thank Him for rest. Thank you. Beautiful name, what a beautiful name. 
have your tithe. You have your fast fruit. You have a sacrifice. Please go ahead and package. And let everyone also package their evening offering. You have a sacrifice to give for your heavens. No problem. You have your tithe. You have your fast food. That category, please come to the front in the name of Jesus. That category of fast food, sacrifice, and tithe, please come to the front. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Evening sacrifice, everyone. Those of come for tithe, I'm sure now you're packaging your evening sacrifice to the Lord. Once you're ready, rise up on your feet and begin to thank God. Begin to thank God for your offering. Lift it up to heaven and thank Him. In the name of Jesus. Online, you can start giving. God bless you. God bless in Jesus' name. God bless in Jesus' name. God bless in God bless in Jesus' name. trees that have hindered your achievement and healing all those who are sick from 10 to 12 those who are watching and those around it is day 3 of this conference your heavens need to open Amen. glory to God you must have testimony this year you must have testimony if you're clapping do it well Come on, say, I must have testimony this year. Okay, I must have testimony this month. I must love this month. I must love this month. Tomorrow, 10, let's be here, up to 12. Appointment to start from 12 to 1 in the name of Jesus. And on Friday night again is day 4, Abby. To be day 4. This Sunday, Open heavens, service continues, but under the tag, the lifter of men will lift me up. Amen. I've been praying this week, and every time I see a hand lifting people, that's where that thing came from. And I pray that that hand will locate you on Sunday Amen. and shall lift you from one bedroom to two bedrooms, from walking to driving, Amen. from single to marry. Amen. It will lift you to be a global person. On Sunday, the lifter of men will lift me up. Oh, 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 oh. Please, that is a divine visitation service. None of us will miss. Praise God. At 30 and then 9.55, we kick off. 